How is it going everybody? This is RBT coming at you with week 8 of my Florida Gators NCAA 14 Dynasty Mode. Wow, it's a Dynasty Mode Dynasty Series. Uh, this week we're taking on Mizzou at Missouri. They're 3-3 three and three. and as always, you're going to check out the top 25 poll. How's been watch? Real quick before we get into the action there. Uh, I'm in, of course, number 1. Ohio State. Hopefully they can lose because we jumped up. We jumped past... Or no, somebody dropped, I think. Did somebody drop. Somebody had to. Yep, South Carolina dropped, lost to Arkansas. So we jumped with number three. Texas right behind us. Hopefully we can jump one of these two schools. Um, but, I mean, we control our own de destiny because if we went out, we'll be okay. But we'll end up having to play Alabama in the SEC championship game if we keep winning, which hopefully we can do so. Because if we win the national championship, that will be a great, great uh, thing on my resume to get a head coaching job somewhere. So that will be awesome. So there we go. And last, before we get started, is going to be starting the Heisman watch. So I'm in, I should be in first place in SEC East right now. So that's awesome. Jordan Lynch, Jeremy Hill. And look at old Jeff Driscoll. I did not even see that. Jeff Driscoll is now in fifth place in the Heisman watch. That is awesome. I have I did not even even notice that so that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and jump into the action uh, against Mizzou this could be a trap game because I believe we have this game then a bye and then against Georgia so this could be a trap game but we are not going to lay down as you see overall it's not that much higher than Missouri's but we saw we obliterated the LSU last week so hopefully just hopefully we can come out with a W in this game and roll into the Georgia game undefeated. So that, that'll be a tough game as well. But before the game gets started, as we're loading, make sure to leave a like. I'm shooting for 25 likes now. So if I can get 25 likes in this video, that would be awesome. Start school next week. So my videos might be... Uh, actually, the week after that's when I start my football season schedule, uh, upload schedule. And that's going to be a lot, a lot of videos. But I'm going to try to get as many of these sort of nice videos recorded as I can before we go to school it started on Monday. So I'm kinda of, kinda of scared to see how college is gonna work out for me. But let's see. Our rush defense is first in the nation. Um, points we're ninth in the country in points, fourth in yards per game, fourteenth in passing yards per game, and tenth in rushing yards per game. So balance balance right there. Looking very good offense is a lot better than I expected at the beginning of the year, but hey I'm the offensive coordinator, and I'm looking for that head coaching job, so go. Um, Pre-game coverage here. Uh, some players there. I, I actually kind of like Missouri Stadium. A lot of people don't like it because of the big heel they have there with the big end, but I, I actually like it. I'm a fan of it. But, uh, let's, let's go ahead and go. Let's go with it. Number three, Florida, coming into Ferret Field. I, I, I'll probably destroy that name, but it's, it's okay. You know, let's get heads, and we did not get tossed. But they'll probably kick it. No, they received. That's, that was, that's, uh, unusual the computer to do that. Let's see how the defense can do. And Missouri went down the field there, but they did not score. So, uh, good start to the game. And as, as I said last week, I actually did not use uh, Trey Burton hardly at all at quarterback, and my offense played better. So I'm going to try to stick away from him at quarterback unless we start struggling now, offense. offense. So Just hopefully we can get a score here. I'm uh, running the screen here. And Trey Burton's actually the running back in this formation. Drop back. Ah, no blocks there. No blocks by line on the guy's screen. Right past mile. Okay. That was a, that was a fail there. Uh, let's go with the little play action vertical route. Let's see if we can hit a beep. I mean, last game we were hitting on all cylinders. It was the best game I've played by far. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, oh, oh. Separation. Oh, can he get it? Dunbar with the clutch catch. Quentin Dunbar, 34-yard reception. Let's go some up to go here. Up, tempo. Just done with the short little spacing round. I need to run the ball a little bit. Let's, let's just throw the ball a little. See how their secondary is going to be playing against us. Let's see here. 
Oh god, they're all main coverage. Oh, that's the one bad thing there. If you're in space and throw out, you have a great opportunity to get sacked. But it is uh, good though against zone coverages. But when they play man, you you're in a bad situation. Uh, okay, so split slots. The option. We're in some fullback belly out of this formation as well. Matt Jones and Kelvin Taylor. Bid in, Jeff Driscoll. No, offensive line not blocking. They had safety help anyway, so that probably wouldn't have gone anywhere. Despite getting the uh, the right read on that play. Okay, let's go with trips, and we'll hit him with the play action wide receiver. Hit. Our first read, of course, is going to be the post on the outside. Second read, Pittman on the on the wheel route. The post is going to be open. No, he's not. He ha he cut that route terribly. He cut that route terribly. Maybe it'll show a replay here. Uh, but he was open. He ain't gonna show it. Wow, that's that's not good. Missouri's taking the lead. All right. Uh, gotta gotta strike quick here. But no no pressure no pressure though. Only down by seven. It's good fifty in LSU, so no, don't even panic. They got the ball first. Getting into the outside, breaking the tackles. Good block on the outside. Great block by the pulling guard. He's 18 yards on the, on the rush with Matt Jones. Let's keep that going. Got some great play in the first rush with Matt Jones in the game. So let's, let's, let's keep it on the ground here. That was a great block by that pulling guard. But that was all created by Matt Jones. Look at that, that missed block. I mean, that missed tackle. That would have been a uh, negative play right there. Nice counter play. Great hole. Cut to the outside. Oh. Not fast enough, but it's okay. We're not agile enough. He, he, Matt Jones is actually pretty fast. Up tempo offense. Okay, let's hit him with a lead option here. Man, that's hurt. Okay, can we read that linebacker? Don't know why. What in the world just happened? I, I'm, I'm not even going to say anything about that Blake play because I have no clue what just happened. Let's go with bunch quads here. All right, this formation was really successful last week. We'll go for drag under route. Third down, two to go. Ball on their own okay, uh, looking for hitmen. Open no middle. RB. Uh, hang on. Oh, Demarcus Robinson with the drop. You know what? Can we hurry up? Can we get the? Yes. I want to get fourth on fourth down, but the computer won't let me. The coach won't let me. But I'm going against my coach. I'm going for it. I'm gonna get it. The boats. Oh, this is easy. This is easy. Yep. Risky, but you know what? That's why. That's why I'm getting paid millions of dollars to be the offensive coordinator here at Florida. That's why I'm getting paid to make risky plays that could cost me my job. But we succeed anyway. I like the spacing route right here with it, with the uh, corner route added in with it. Got in the slot. So it's Matt Jones that's running that. See if uh, I think this will actually work unless that linebacker takes me. He doesn't, and he's gonna be open. But a bad pass! Dang it, dang it. Pick! That's two picks already from Driscoll. So, so much for that Heisman. He, he's uh, looking way too much in that Heisman talk, and he's um, too uh, too caught up in himself. And he's having a bad performance so far in the first quarter. So that's two picks already in the first quarter. Defense keeping us in the game. Hang, uh, keeping, um, keeping up, let's see, split slot. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, so we don't want to throw a pick again. Jeff Driscoll coming off his best game so far, and now he's playing his worst game so far. So let's just so, uh, build some confidence here and throw a little screen pass unless Dunbar gets off the press coverage here, which he doesn't. And hit Matt Jones. Oh, this could be a big game. Cut outside. Oh. Oh, breaking tackles. There we go, Matt Jones. Matt Jones is going to play in the game so far for offense, having a great game. Uh, four for seven eighty yards is uh the stat line on on uh, Driscoll so far. Okay, so we're hit up the middle on uh, halfback draw to the boast. I mean why did the boast to Jones? Oh uh, can he get there? Oh kinda ran into my line in there. Okay, no big deal. We just we really need to score. We need to get some more we need to gain some consistency. 
and let's hit him with a deep attack here. And just like consistency, and this is the perfect play to get picked off. But you know what? Look for Dunbar. Oh, I have a lot of reads. Alright, Dunbar's gonna be first, and the bows unless if he gets off from the upper press, which he doesn't. Um, nobody's in. Oh, yes! It, the uh, guy on the outside didn't get the inside leverage that I was hoping for, so I had to make the inside lead, which almost got me sacked. Took me too long. Alright, go with the Y stick here. I'm gonna start from a hurry up a position of more than five yards in this play. The boast, maybe he can get up a press. He hasn't been able to get up a press so far this game, really. Still doesn't. Get over the middle. Oh, a little bit too far behind wide receiver. Okay. Let's hit him with a, uh, if we don't score this drive, I'm going to uh, put Driscoll in at quarterback and run some, not Driscoll, wow, uh, Burton at quarterback and run some option with him. Got to find something that's working for us. Oh, belly inside. There we go, Trey Burton. Let's keep that going. Oh, oh, third and one. I love. I used this formation a lot last week. The split offset formation that has Burton, Jones, and uh, and Driscoll in at the same time. Now we hit it with Burton last play. Now hit it with Jones. Did we get it? Oh, we did not get it. Oh, but our coach is probably gonna go for a field goal. No, we cannot go for a field goal there. Okay, we, um, man, puts me in a predicament here. If you let me just go for it, it would be a big of a deal. But let's go with a read option. This is really important here. Of the middle, did he get it? Oh, oh, man, that was close. That was very close. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Um. Let's look for. Let's go with this. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's go. Let's throw it on first down here with the mesh route. Looking for Burton at the backfield on the wheel route. If not, Dunbar in the corner over here. And he's. Oh, I did not mean to press that. Oh, oh, I. Oh, I don't even want to talk about that play. That was scary. I don't know why I do that. That was completely my fault. Okay. Um. That ha that fullback belly worked really well. Really well so let's go with that again. But Burton, it showed he was getting a little bit tired, so we don't want to run with him too much. Oh, 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 our offensive line was destroyed that play. Okay. I, I feel you. Alright, so let's go with, uh, look at all the tired players on my team. Empty, empty quads. Let's go to the stick route. I love throwing to the inside in the stick route. We're looking for Pittman over the middle. If not, we look for Dunbar on the slant. And it's gonna be Dunbar. Is he gonna have enough? Oh, get the block! Oh, he ran into the old man. Okay, okay. That, that's a little unfortunate there, but we're moving the ball. We can we can do this. Alright, let's go with a let's hit him with the play action. Play action lead. That's gonna be looking for uh either Robinson on the outside if he's not open. There's gonna be two jump up over there to so look back for Dunbar over the middle. He's gonna, he's gonna be open. That's a touchdown. Oh, oh, that was almost a pick. <laughs> I'm not making good reads this game. I'm not making good reads at all. Okay. Let's go split slot. Let's try to find a. Let's run him kind of route out of the backfield. Let's hit him with a shovel option. I haven't yet to throw a uh, good shovel option this time. See, I don't think I've really thrown a good. Shovel option this whole entire game. So let's let's see if I can get it here. Oh, uh, bad pass. He, I, I believe he was actually open there for the shovel, but that was just a bad shovel pass there. Okay, so big third down here. That I should not have uh, messed around there. There's the play I was looking for. Slot out. We need to do a little audible here. Um, let's go with a. Fade route. Look for Jones of the middle. Does he get the inside leverage? Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Man. Okay, can we get the field goal? Okay, at least we got the field goal. We got the ball back with the minute left, so let's let's do something. Here. Let's do something with the ball. Well, that screen started our drive off really well last drive, so let's do it again. And drop this drive off with a good screen pass to Burton. 
Um, oh, is he gonna get it? Oh, block. Cut inside. Okay. Seven yards. I'll take it. Let's, let's hurry up here. We need Driscoll to get hot at the right time right here. Okay. Let's go with air raid under. DeBose has press. He has not been able to get off press this whole game. And he does. And it's going to be a... Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Touchdown! That... Oh! Watch the replay. Watch the replay. Can you can you throw a replay at me real quick? This guy just continues to Look him get off the press coverage. He, oh, tip right into his hands for the touchdown. I'm all, I always uh, am bit on that safety. That safety always almost gets the pick against me on that, on that kind of play when he plays cover two. But sometimes it works out for you if the safety's too slow. And he was just slow enough not to get the pick, but tip it right into Bosa's hands. So we take the lead there, ten to seven. On a great play by Andre DeBose, our really good receiver. So we got the ball back actually with um, about 45 seconds left, and we want to try to get another score on the board. Uh, we're going to make them think. We're running the ball, just set up for a field goal, we're going to twin tight ends. So looking for a big play. Can be yeah, let's do it. DeBose again, maybe can now press once again. Oh, throw it up to DeBose. He's going to get that. That's going to be two touchdowns in a row. Yes! Woohoohoo! The Bows with another big touchdown catch. That's what I'm talking about. As much as Jeff Driscoll has struggled this game, he's already thrown for 233 yards in this first half. His second quarter has been light out. That's two big plays. Well, pretty much all made by the Bows. So, really, it's more of a DeBose show than a Driscoll show in the second quarter. But Missouri strikes right back and they score a touchdown. Right before the half is over, so we get the ball back. It shows that it's Missouri's ball. What's going on? It's showing the kickoff, but I'm confused. It's showing that it's the kickoff and it's Missouri's ball. If you look at that, but it's it's not the kickoff. It's our ball. Okay, hand it off to Jones. All right, two yards. Man, I was more worried about what was going on rather than uh, the play. <laughs> that was that was kind of. Weird. All right, go with the counter. I love, I love counters. I love them. But oh, I have Jones in here. I mean, I have Burton in there. Did not mean to put Burton in there. Oh, oh, oh! Man, that that kickoff thing kind of threw away my concentration a little bit. Okay, why am I doing as coach? Maybe that's a problem. Let's go with full house play action out of this. Um, Thing, play action X post. All right, I'm liking that. I, I'm not the one to throw comeback routes. I'm very bad at throwing comebacks on this game. A lot of people are good at it. I'm not. X over the middle. The post again. The post is having such a huge game. Wow. Four receptions, 145 yards, two touchdowns. Okay. Let's hit him with a little triple option. Out. Wow. Triple option play here. I right, see what's gonna happen here. He wow, bad block from my guard. And they'll get him in the backfield. The halfback loses about one on the option. Alright, that was actually Kelvin Taylor that ran that play. Uh let's go back to my bread and butter option. I mean the shotgun. Remember why offset offset. Why, why am I talking so stupid? This commentary. All right, halfback slip screen. It's been the start of every drive last couple drives. Let's do it again. Here we are. Taylor. Let's see if DeBose can get off the press again. And he does. He does. That's going to be another big play to DeBose. 15, 16 yards to DeBose. Great play. That's done with that. That's insane. Five receptions, 161 yards. Wow. All right, let's go with the halfback screen here again. But you know what? Let's let's DeBose on a. Uh, Slant to the inside, but he's not gonna be our primary lead. Wow, you don't want to be doing that, so Thompson's gonna be running a drag. Okay. And he's open. I did not even check the screen there. Okay. After this drive, I'm gonna go and see if, if uh, jo Matt Jones is hurt. I should have hurry up because he's not in the game. It wasn't that play, at least. I think that. I'm not even sure the numbers actually. That might be him now. That and it, yep, it is. Okay, forget what I just said. This is a successful formation, and Trey Burton with the block. Oh, 
barely didn't get inside enough. Okay, that's when that fullback really that I love out of this formation. Let's see if any adjustments are made before there is. Is that Philly? Kind of crick in my neck, but Trey Burton is gonna make it feel better because he's about to get a touchdown on this play. Or the, the tackle is gonna miss the the, reg, the edge rusher and he's gonna get nothing. All right, fair enough. In some games, the offensive line will play great, and others will play absolutely terrible. But it's all it's all good. Let's go to play, play action wide receiver in route. Trey Burton's had a bad couple of games, but I mean, our offense has been playing all right without him really producing, so it's not really a big deal. The boast to the inside. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> DeBose is having a Heisman type game. Let's show this replay. Oh my, his third touchdown of the game. One handed catch. He, the safety, or the corner looked like he had the uh, inside to him, but he just shot right past him and got that touchdown. So, wow. DeBose has accounted for all of our touchdowns this far. And you know what? Since we've had such success with him, let's go back to the pistol with a full house formation and try to hit DeBose in another. Play action play. Um, okay, play action post here. And here comes the offense ooh, again. They'll ooh. try to make it two touchdowns and okay, two this is it. You can bet this defense All right, made we'll, some adjustments we'll go with it. We'll go with it. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow Safety. down. Safety. That's what exactly what I was worried about. Safety. Okay, that's not good, guys. I uh, didn't really expect us to have the ball. I wasn't paying attention. We had the ball that close to our end zone. And, uh, oh, we only have a five point lead right now, guys, so it's it's coming close. Let's do what we were just trying to do. Let's see if we can find any plays that actually go down the field. Let's just let's try that play again. Alright, if yeah, they have fresh, we put them bar. Uh, I don't know, though, because. Okay, we'll do that. Expect to see these guys flying to the ball in this possession, too. Driscoll! Oh, get to the outside! Cut in. Okay. Second and one. Let's hurry up and keep the ball on the ground. Jones. Only three yards in the ground for Driscoll this game. Okay, let's go with the triple option here. Let's see what we can do out of this. He crashed in. Get to the outside. Pitch man. Jones. Cut outside. Okay. Alright, hurry up and finish that exact play. I love it. If you run that triple option right and you know how to run it, that can be a very, very effective play. You have so many. Options you have three options. Q the three and the triple to uh, run in this play. So, uh, pitch man, uh, cut inside. Driscoll, go! Oh, stay on your feet. Man, that play's working. Keep it going. Stay out of this full house formation. It's working. Okay, so we'll run it until they stop us. I really do like this pistol full house formation though. It's more of like a diamond type formation. That's what I call it. Pitch it! Oh! Can we get one more play before the third quarter's over? No, it's, it's gonna run off. Yeah. Let's just let the time run out. And we need to watch out, guys. Missouri's playing this close. We can't we can't lay off. We keep the ball the bone rolling. We're only up by five going into the fourth quarter. We cannot let a team like Missouri beat us and uh, destroy our, our season. But they're showing highlights of the Bose. The Bose is the player of the game by far. An absolute insane game. Uh, if Driscoll wins up, winning the Heisman, he, he needs to thank DeBose for such a game. He has not really had a breakout game so far this season. This has been it by far. That's uh, DeBose that I'm talking about. Because he's, I believe he's the highest overall wide receiver, the best wide receiver on this team. And he really played like it because all the other wide receivers are getting a ton of yards. But that hasn't been the case with DeBose, but he's definitely making up for this one game. Okay, nobody's open. Throw it away. Oh, is it getting out of bounds? Yes, okay. I'll take it. Don't throw a pick. Like I said, just just started out very slow in this game. The two picks early on, but he's made up for it. Not the best game, but a lot of it, a lot of it is because of the bows. Leave me a comment section a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you, how you feel about the Bose's performance thus far. Uh, what to go with? Let's go with the slot out play here. Down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Okay, looking for Dunbar. See if he can make get off the press. And he does, he does, but 
the corner. Ooh, ooh, the safety. Kept, he, he did what I always fear. With he was a little far back, so I thought if I if I threw a bullet that he would get there before, he would not get there before I threw the ball. That's what happened. So lucky I made a kind of a right read there. That was a dangerous pass, though. I will admit. Jones at the middle, could the outside breaking tackles get in front of him. What just happened? With the nine yard rush. I'm, I'm shooting that 100 yard rush mark. Matt Jones, 10 carries, 57 yards. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Uh, let's hit him with the fullback belly here. That worked early on, but has not worked since like the first or second play I ran with it. And it will work here. Oh, this could be a touchdown. Matt Jones get the block. Matt Jones ran into it. Okay. Not a bad not a bad play there. Trey Burton with the touchdown. Wow, with the touchdown with the 19 yard run. Okay, let's hit him with a uh, play action here. Looking for Robinson. Who's that? I can't I hate I can't show what receiver that is in that I believe that's the boss. We're looking for Robinson, and he's not open. Oh! Cut in Driscoll. Can he make it? Touchdown! Florida, Jeff Driscoll with the 10-yard touchdown run will put Florida ahead by 11 points. Or 12 points, sorry. So, our defense is hanging in there, so... It's just looking, it's looking pretty good. It was scary early on, but if we can get a score here, the game will probably be over. But can't say that too soon. Get some, at least get a first down and cut some clock. And Matt Jones, nice little play there, seven yards. Okay, we need to put up fumble on conservative. We used to do it at the beginning of the game, but I forgot. But I need to make sure to do it now so we don't fumble. Give him a chance to come back. Okay, trips. Look for a. Read option is what I was looking for. Gosh, I'm just picking on that guy. Okay, Burton. Oh, uh, man. <sighs> Bad block on the center. The defensive tackle just destroyed my center on that play. Okay, let's, let's do something we haven't done all game. Put Trey Burton in the quarterback and the read option. Let's see how this will work. Keep it on the ground. He contained Matt Jones with the big old game. There we go, baby. Seven yard rush by Matt Jones. He has 71 yards this game, so. Good game thus far. Is there any running plays out of this formation? Okay, I won't run that. Empty quad. Just go with the motion read option. I don't ever. I don't believe I actually ran this motion read option before. I mean, it's the same thing as a read option, except. Uh, he brings in Jones from the slot and runs the read option one comes up kind of disguises the read option because people, especially online, people, if you're in the read option a lot, people can uh, pretty much know what defense to call when they believe it's coming, but if you, when you run that play, they have, they, there's no way they can audible or, or run their, uh, fix their defense to stop the read options. So they don't know it's coming because he comes out of the slot, but there it did not work. I was more concerned in explaining that to y'all than actually run the play. Okay, um, let's go with the empty spread here. No, I want to keep the ball on the ground, but I'm gonna go with the deep pass here. I'm gonna to run. draw, but I'm not. I'm looking for either Dunbar or the Bose. Maybe Thompson. He gets the inside leverage in the, in the corner. And he doesn't. He does! Oh, Thompson, there we go, baby. 334 passing yards this game. This is insane. Definitely more than I, I usually run for, but I mean, throw for, but hey, I want to stay balanced, but sometimes you can't help it. Let's try to get Trey Burton the ball here on the outside. I want this play to work so bad. Don't even understand. And it's going to work. It's going to work this play. Get the outside block. Man, what was that receiver doing? That could have easily been a touchdown if that wide receiver would have got the block. That kind of stuff really makes me mad because in real life, that easily would have been a touchdown. One of the first time that plays actually worked for me. Since we're having luck on plays that don't usually work for me, I know I said that about the QB draw last game, but let's let's try it again. That's by far the best I've ever uh, executed on that the screen pass to the outside. Let's see what Driscoll can do here. Oh, the corner cannot keep the, the defense tackle out of the backfield. Okay. 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 So Missouri start to use your timeouts. Really, really crucial here. To get, well, it's not necessarily because we're up by 12, but I mean, you don't know what can happen. Let's go with this blitz slot here. Go with the 
play, play action X live. Light a fire skill activated, whatever that means. Okay. Over the middle, Dunbar. Oh, Quentin Dunbar, the 18 yard reception. That's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. Almost got it, guys. Almost got it. Eyes on the guys covering, but in zone, the defenders six look yards. right at the quarterback. That's why the six that yard line works so well for a first down. Just hit him with a read sure option here. A run or a pass. And this is the ninth Man, play this, of the this is been an odd game for me, but it's okay. Ah, oh, nice outside line, but the glitch call there. The Tigers, they're going to have okay. to call their third okay. and final timeout. That's how you want to be. We'll hit you with a play action out of the same exact formation to hit you for a touchdown. We can find one real quick. That's actually decent. Play action wheel. Uh, is that Burton in the backfield or is that Jones? Okay, I trust his hands a little more than. We'll be looking for the Bose if he can get the inside leverage. And he. he uh, okay. Okay, uh, I did not, I was locked in too much on the Bose to see if I could find anybody else open, so I tried throwing it to him, but I'm glad it went away. Alright, so what to do here? Let's go with this play action boot over. I really wish you could move it, see who those receivers are on the outside. So like I said, I don't really know them by the number. Over the middle, the Bose! Pick! Ah! That's the last thing that I wanted, guys. Dang. Baited me. I should throw it to the inside receiver. That that was totally my fault. And Missouri went down the field, but almost, almost scored. But defense keeps us in the game once again, and we'll come out of. Mizzou with the victory. Close game. A lot closer than anticipated, but we'll get the win nonetheless. Matt Jones must get some extra yardage on his stat board. That might put him up for 100 for the game. I'm not sure. 88. 13 rush, 88 yards. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright. Something that I wanted to say is whenever I accept a head coaching position somewhere, I don't have to necessarily run the same offense that I do. I'll look at the personnel that the team has that I'm thinking about going to as head coach and decide if it's a team that I, I might have said this before. Here it shows more must chance record as a head coach. Uh, thanks to me. Thanks to me. But it doesn't have to be this offense. If I have a team that needs to throw the ball 50 times a game, I'll do it. If I need a team that runs needs to run the ball 50 times a game, I'll do it. If any team needs to be balanced, I'll do it. If I have a team that can be an up-tempo style team, I'll do it. You get Kelvin Taylor on, on the action here. Let's try to run one more play here. Um, before you get out of here, the victory. Maybe we can hand it off to, to Jones here and get 100 yards for the game on him, but oh, it's still Kelvin Taylor. All right. Yeah, they had that read, read perfectly. But anyways, we'll come out of Missouri with 31-19 victory. Closer than I would like, but a victory nonetheless. We've had a lot of close games this season. Last game was really the first real blowout. And it was against the best team, too. So I guess we're a team that plays to our competition. Oh, Andre DeVos was the player of the game. I didn't get to see his final stats. I'll see him in just a second. But that was, that was uh, at times, Driscoll's worst game of the season. And at times, his best game of the season. And every single time I've said that in this video, I go back and, and uh, take that back. A lot of those big plays that helped his yardage was because of DeBose. He had a bunch of insane catches this game. One-handed catch, uh, tip catch off the corner, which should have been a pick. But let's see the game stats. Player stats. Uh, see how Driscoll finished up. 17 of 28. 360 yards, 3 touchdowns, 3 interceptions, 2 sacks. He threw the ball way too many times that game for how many times I actually wanted to run the ball. Uh, 13 rushes, 23 for Driscoll. You, uh, you can just see. I just scroll down, and take less time. Receiving here, here he is, Andre Debose, who's on fire, on fire. Six receptions, 179 yards, three touchdowns. And here you can see the rest. And the Troy Pittman, who's having a, him and Robinson are both true freshmen. Or what? what sorry, I take it back. Pittman's a sophomore, and Demarcus Robinson's a freshman. They've been having really big games lately. But they're kind of a little slow this game, but as what was expected early on in the season with Dunbar and DeBose having big games, 
they've been pretty much on par with the other receivers, but this game they showed up and uh, played out of their minds. Because Dunbar wasn't really recognized by myself, but he had a pretty good game as, as well. Um, a couple of pancakes and Humphreys let a let a sack go through. And where's he at? Where is uh? I guess what's his name did not lead the team in sacks this game. I mean, in, in uh, tackles this game. I don't believe he even recorded a tackle. I cannot even think of his name. Wow. He's usually leading the team in tackles, but he's, he's not even there. And a kick, let's say the kick real fast. Okay, I have, I looked down at my phone, I have 17 text messages, so that's something I need to look at in just a second while the game is loading. We go back to the screen. Um, James Franklin had a decent game there through two picks. Running the ball. Oh yeah, Green Beckham. He's going to be one of the best wide receivers in the country by the time he leaves for the NFL. Okay, let's just let's go through this real quick. Go down to their kicking. And uh, the punter had a nice game. And last but not least, team stats. And I'll show you who we play next week. And that'll be about it. 505 total yards of offense. Something that might be the first time we broke 500. Could be wrong, but... I think it is. Alright. Moving along. Three turnovers. We gotta cut down on that. And that can't be the normal. We will get beat sooner or later. But you know, guys, I'm I'm trying to get that national championship. I know uh, there might be very few people on here that that uh win national championships on their season because this game's so hard, especially on Heisman. But I could be one of those few. I could be. I could be. But to the credit, I have got a, a good team composed of everybody else. That's what you guys wanted. But we'll see what I can do whenever I'm the head coach. Look at that. Look at that. Arkansas is on a mission, guys. I will be jumping up to at least number two next week because Arkansas beat Alabama by 17 points, 38-21. And last week, Arkansas beat South Carolina, so who I believe was four at the time. So Arkansas, look at them. to be ranked in the top 25 next week, definitely. Unless they lost. That's like, that might only be their second win of the season. Uh, game stats, play the games, you see DeBose, Jamie Brown. Um, that's why. Morston, that's who it was. He's That's what I was going to say, but I, I didn't think a linebacker really could get hurt in this game. Cause, but, I mean, I guess so, since you sim it. But and, uh, Morston's out for four weeks of forearm fracture. That's pretty big because he he's our leading tackler and middle linebacker. So that's not good. And they, also, their running back, who's very good, Josie, he is out for two weeks. So... I'm not sure if that happened during the game or before the game. Okay, so that I'm gonna show you the stats real quick. I, I always show the stats, the 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 league leaders or the the uh, frick college football leaders, I guess you could say, after the games, and it kind of is misleading because of uh, other teams haven't played the game for the week yet, but I'll show you. Regardless, Matt Jones is 14. That's a lot higher than I thought he would be. Let's see. Receiving leaders, DeBose. He's only 53rd. <laughs> that shows you how much he's been struggling this year. Or not really struggling, but he's just... And you see Morrison still leading the country in tackles, even though he didn't play that last game. We've got very few sacks. Um, and that's about it. And next week, we actually have a bye week. I'll probably show you recruiting next week. I'm not really going to guarantee that, but um, next week we have a bye, then we take on Georgia, Bandy, South Carolina. So the next couple weeks we have a very tough schedule going up. But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed Florida Gators Dynasty Week 8 for NCAA Football 14. Leave a like, shoot for 25 likes. And as always, roll tight, go socks, and go tight to see you. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a great day, guys.